हाय एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मोचन ने वीडियो कॉल्ड दिस माय फ्रेंड्स इस सेकंड वीडियो ऑन इंडियन मैरिटाइम हिस्ट्री इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो आई टॉक्ड अबाउट दैट इंडिया वाज द फर्स्ट कंट्री टू स्टार्ट शिपिंग India was the first country where the shipyard was built. India was the first country to distinguish between merchant navy and defense navy. More importantly for Indians it was merchant navy versus Indian navy and many many more things. And within a span of 5 5 2 6 centuries Indian shipping which was over here just went down after the entry of East India Company. So in that video I covered the details what went wrong what Britishers did to us in today I want to cover those important parts of modern Indian shipping, and thanking a few people out here who played a very very important role. Let us start. In 1894, J and Tata started Tata Line from Bombay to China and Japan, and a company called P and O, of course owned by Britishers, forced it to close down. In 1905, Jyotindranath Tagore, he was brother of poet Tagore, started his company called Bengal Steamship Company. Again, liquidated within three years, bankrupt. In 1906, V. O. Chidambaram Pillai started Swadeshi Shipping Company in Tuticorin, in Tamil Nadu, bankrupt within five years. In 1919, guys, now this is a very very important chapter of modern Indian shipping. Why? Because Sindhya Steam Navigation needs to be thanked. Because Narottam Mararji and Walchand Hirachand, who started this shipping company, they need to be thanked. Nineteen nineteen twenty seventh March, Sindhya Steam Navigation Company was started by Narottam Mararji and Walchand Hirachand. They built the backbone of modern Indian shipping. Fifth March nineteen nineteen, a ship named SS Loyalty with around five nine three four GRT passenger ship started its journey. From India to UK, it was such an important chapter of Indian modern shipping that it is today known as National Maritime Day. They, the Sindhya Steam Navigation Shipping, did not stop there. Their aim was bigger. They knew just by building ships, no country can become bigger. They knew that our own Indian officers, Indian engineers, need to be there. And what they did was, they started training officers and engineers on their own ship. In 1923. Lord Inch, Cape Chairman of P and O, they ordered, they offered to buy Sindhya to get rid of Indian competition, on a very very lucrative terms. But they say na ki when you have at the top most priority serving your own country, then these all things do not matter. They just rejected it down. And when that happened, that really angered Lord Inch, Cape, and he put a tab on the growth of the company by saying that you cannot grow ships more than seventy thousand tonnage. 1927 a training ship dufferin was established i will be making a complete separate video on this which will really blow your mind knowing what kind of history was out here an englishman stated in viceroy's council that indians can never make good officers much less captains and today we are the third largest country in the world to give indian officers and engineers to the maritime fraternity From 1935, Dufferin started training marine engineers as well. 1938, 23rd December, Vallabh Bhai Patel declared open Sindhya House and said, "This is in Delhi. On each brick and stone of this building will be written the future history of Indian shipping. Leaps were being taken, steps were being taken, but still a lot has to be done. A lot will be done. In 1939, Indian tonnage was only about one lakh twenty-five thousand GRT." Today, the largest ship is of around four lakh GRT. So the total combined ships that time were just one fourth of the largest ship today. I would say. In 1939, Maritime Union of India was formed, for which I made a separate video. Please watch that video. It is very important for every Indian officer and engineer who are sailing in merchant navy. In 1941, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, the first president of our independent country. Laid the foundation stone of first modern Indian Indian shipyard at Bishaka Patna. Today we have around twenty four shipyards in India. The first was built in Bishaka Patna. In nineteen forty six, India Steamship Company was founded. 
there will be a definitely video series coming we'll be talking about rise and downfall of sindhya steam navigation company limited rise and fall of india steam company limited rise and fall of pratibha shipping company rise and fall of varin shipping company a lot of indian shipping companies which grew but then a downfall happened will be covered in this series in 1948 first indian built cargo ship jalausha was launched by jawahar lal nehru 14th march 1948 Great Eastern Shipping Company, National Steamship Company, and South East Asia Shipping Company were founded. Nautical and Engineering College started in Azad Maidan, Mumbai. So a lot was happening just after India got independent. 1950, Eastern Shipping Corporation was established with 74% state-owned and 26% owned by Sindhyas, who were also appointed managing agents. 1951, Indian Coastal Conference was established. Indian shipping Indian shipping companies wanted a control over the Indian coastal so that is what happened through this Indian coastal conference march 1 1952 sindhya shipyard became hindustan shipyard limited in public sector in september coastal shipping was reserved for indian ships only so india was trying to gain control over here a lot has happened the colleges like ts dafren becoming ts rajendra then ts anakya DMT becoming MERI Kolkata and then IMU Kolkata shipping companies rise and fall a lot has happened in indian maritime history a lot will happen i will make this series and try to do as much justice as possible please mention in comment section what all you want to know what all case studies can be put in to subscribe the youtube channel for latest